The next step that you're going to want to do is work on adding on the clay on the outside of your armature. So this was completed by taking chunks of clay straight out of the bag and cut it off in strips. So I took the wire tool and I went straight to the clay bag here and I took off chunks. Tore them off and then looked to see where I needed to add things on and I added the clay pressed it into its shape. Now if there's spots on your project that you're noticing don't have quite the 3D effect that you'd like, like for mine I was adding in some more clay kind of up in this area and along the sides, you can just take some clay, add it right on, then press it in. You really have to make sure that there's no air gaps here and we will be doing a little bit of hollowing out on the head after the fact. You can add that clay in and just blend it in. You'll really find working at this scale that you'll want to use both your hands. On the head itself, you shouldn't have like a perfect circle. It should be an oval. So you may find that you're pressing the clay from the sides to try to get the shape. You'll want to look at your picture here, see what that front view looks like, and see if you're getting the shape in the general direction that it needs to be. This is all before you put any of the features on the head. So we've covered the entire armature. I built clay down around the base for where the shoulders are going to be. So I just took clumps of clay and I was adding it on as needed to get the uh, 3D effect that I wanted. I'd probably leave the shoulders a little bit thicker and the clay on the bottom to help support the head. But you are gonna wanna have a bit of your shoulders present just to make it so that it can support itself just a little bit better. So that's how you add the clay on to the human head armature that you've made before you begin working on any of the features.